this video we'll be looking at installing the eBeam Education Suite. Once you've downloaded it, double click on the icon and choose the language you wish to install. This will then start up the setup wizard. Click on next. It's a good idea to read or glance through the license agreement. You never know what's in that small print. Once you're happy with that, you can click on the I accept the agreement tab and click on next. Next again, and this will show us where we're going to load it on our computer, followed by the icons that we're going to put on. You can click on install. If you have an old CD or you're not sure where to get the software from, this is the link where you can go. You will need to register or join, as they say, in order to get access to the latest information and downloads. Once this process is done, you can click on finish and this will automatically start the software. Once we've launched the software, it'll ask us for registration. There are two ways of doing it. You can get the information and you can go on the websites and do it. Or you can simply plug in your eBeam system and this will skip that activation process. Once that happens, that will bring us through to Scrapbook and you have installed the software successfully. Now that we have installed the software, if we minimize, you will see that we have three distinctive icons on our desktop. eBeam Home, which takes us to a little home page with quick links. That will be shown in another video. eBeam Scrapbook, that launches our scrapbook. And then the eBeam Tool Palette, which launches the tool palette straight away. And down in our notification area, we now have a new icon with our eBeam functionality there. We will look at this in more detail in another video. Thank you for watching this eBeam video brought to you by the Technology Training Academy.